Hi everyone and welcome to Hobby World. There are only two days left on the Le Mans 2022 and following our tradition we are going to host our slot car tournament. This year the tournament is going to be really special because we are going to race on this completely scratch built slot car track. The track is called HK Apocalypse and it is inspired by the Borderlands franchise. The track has been constructed in four modules so it can be easily assembled and disassembled. Both lanes are rounded and I have applied cover tape all around them so the cars can get power. Each lane are around 10 meters in length and to provide additional clean power I have made sure that all modules have their own power connectivity below the track. All of the landscape have been carefully created using styrofoam and all of the barriers and buildings are 3D printed, hand painted and then attached to the track. All the lamps work and can illuminate the entire track. They have all been made using a single 5mm LED. The container has a small spotlight to illuminate the banner and flickering lights inside. When I get more time, I'm going to populate the entire track with people and characters doing all sorts of things. And I'll most likely add something inside this container. The abandoned gas station is still a work in progress, as I'm going to add a single banner up here with a reference to Borderlands. And then of course, as with all of the other parts on the track, I'm going to install lights. I'm probably going to use some of those flickering lights inside this building and as all roofs and so on can be removed I'll be able to make a special scene or diorama inside. The light bridge looks amazing but it also has practical use. First of all the light coming from the light bridge will shine down upon these two sensors, one located in each lane and will make them able to register each time a car passes. So these will count off the laps. They are also going to be used when the car needs to refuel as the driver will need to stop his car on top of these sensors for the car or refueling to start. Below the light bridge we have these five starting lamps that will signal when the race is about to start by turning on one at a time and finally turning off and then the race is on. This is the control box for the track and I'm really proud of this. It is specifically designed to use with a two-lane slot car track running race coordinator software. I designed the entire box myself in a 3D editing software. The box is modular so I can change parts if I decide to do a different layout later. And we can see that by doing this, removing the top and then lifting this. This is one of the modular pieces which can be replaced at a later time. This is the master control piece which can also be replaced if I ever figure out a better way to do it. On the master control panel we have this output for the signal lights on the light bridge and then we have this small phono cable down here connector that can connect to a call button so a judge can stop the race for a given period of time and then restart the race without any drivers getting any penalties. Over here we have the lane 1 and the lane 2 connectors we have power in, we have power out to the track, and then we have the controller. Over here we have the sensor, and finally we have a call button for the lane 1 driver. This can be used to call a yellow flag on the track, so if lane 1 driver crashes, he can hit that button and the race will stop. His car will be given a time penalty, but he can reposition it on the track, and when we hit the green flag button down here, the race will restart. Inside the box we have an Arduino Uno and a couple of relays and then of course all of the connectors over here. The Arduino Uno has been uploaded with a sketch that works with the race coordinator software and the two relays over here is capable of turning on and off the power to each individual lane. I have attached the control box below the track and as you can see all of the wires are running in there and then I set up the race coordinator software down here. 
when the track is complete in a day or so, I am going to use a screen located in that corner over there, so it will be raised above the track, so the drives can stand from where I'm standing right, right now and watch the track over here and how it's going and how much fuel they have left on their cars and so on. But uh, so far I'm just doing a small test. This is actually the first time I have done a test with this setup. So now I'm just going to turn on a race and see if the cars can actually run on the track. As I just said before, this is the first time I'm able to test drive this track using both the race coordinator software, the light bridge, both cars on the track and everything connected. The only thing that's not connected right now is all of the lamps and uh, the lights in the container, but they don't have any uh, driving function. So I should be able to test it all out and if everything goes as planned, I'll be able to drive both cars around in each of their lanes and it will count all of the laps and I'll be able to refuel. Unfortunately, I've placed the computer down here on the floor because I haven't uh, made the, uh, the screen connection and the call buttons to start the race yet. So I'll take a look at that this evening, but right now I'm just going to test this track and see if it works. So let's start the race. Five, four, three, Starting lamps working two. fine. One, go! And this is the lane one track see. I, I got a car for lap down there on the computer. Also hit a barrier. This is actually very sensitive. You can uh, easily feel my movement on control. Oh, I'll say that lane works. Let's try the other one. This car is a bit better as it's, uh, it's a bit heavier, so we'll stick better to the track. The other one was a cheap one I bought used, and uh, this one I've been working a bit with adding weight and so on. Remember, there are no magnets in this track, so the cars will not exactly stick to it. So it's pretty difficult driving on the track. So I'm just going to pause the race here and see what the race coordinator software says. But it seems to work, both things are driving really well. So I'll just you hit the pause button, button here, take the camera and remove it a bit. So if we take a look here on the track, we can just go over, see that the lights signal yellow light. The track has been stopped. Down here I have the computer, so we can see my lap times here, 6.188 and 6. 395 for the lap 2 car. So this uh, this looks pretty good and it uh, counts laps and does everything it should. I still need to set up the software for refueling and so on, but we can just try to drive into the pit and see if the cars will actually refuel. So let's just restart Five, the race, see if four, I can do this three, with the two, camera in one, one hand, and one hand on the controller. Let's just stop on top of the sensor. And we can see down here that the car is refueling and Full fuel. Ah, this is just perfect. Really looking forward to racing on this track in a couple of days. Halfway through the heat. Now I just need to connect all of these lamps, make a better setup for the screen and then we're good to go. I was just considering how I should end this video and then I decided that there is no real way of doing it other than saying Thank you all for the support so far. I've been working really hard on this project for a couple of months now and I think that I've managed to do a lot and lot of work. My real day job has uh, taken up a lot of my time uh, during the last couple of months. So I think that it's uh, pretty decent what I've managed to do on this track. And most importantly of all, I managed to get the track ready for the Le Mans event. Today's Thursday and Le Mans is in a couple of days on Saturday. And we're hosting this uh, tournament before the race starts and I will of course be making a video about that and uh, I know myself well enough to know that I'm probably going to be a bit tired after 24 hours of racing. I have occasionally spent the entire night up following the race so I might not be able to post that video. 
the day after the race I might get a bit too tired but the week after the race it will be posted and I hope you're going to follow that and watch that video but I really appreciate and I just wanted to say this from the heart that I really appreciate all the support everyone here on YouTube has given me it means a lot to me that I've received the feedback, comments and so on and I actually listened to it. I've decided to keep the plane among other things. So um, as you can see the track isn't completely finished yet. I have 3D printed some of the buildings you might have noticed in the other videos and uh, I still need to paint them. I won't be able to manage to do that before the race itself in a couple of days. But I think this looks pretty good and the track runs as it uh, should. So I will continue to post updates on this track. I have a summer vacation coming up very soon and I will of course be making new stuff for this track and I'll be working on my old track which is located behind the camera and I have actually planned on staying a bit in the slot car world because I have a third track, sort of like track planned but I'll not reveal any more about that yet. I'm also going to start working a bit more on some of the older projects I've been working on. I have a Terminator, a T900 full-size project I've been trying to do and that's definitely requiring some of my attention. So I might not be able to post as many videos about this but they will be much more dedicated and uh, less stressful when posting them. So that's just a bit of an update. I really hope you've enjoyed this uh, overview of the track and uh, me displaying everything I've done so far and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel that would really mean a lot to me help me raise those subscriptions and um, yeah just thank you all for watching and please leave a comment and some feedback below that would also be truly incredible so nothing more to say have a very nice Le Mans weekend 2022 if you're going to watch the race have a nice Formula 1 race if you're going to watch that. And everyone, thank you all for watching. Truly appreciate it. Have a nice day.